having us. Are you enjoying your stay here in Argentina? It's great to be in Argentina. What are your first thoughts about the, 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 this event, the Konami event? Has it been a success for you guys? Yeah, for sure. It's great because we don't get it down here very often, but it's something that we want to do more often. And coming down, meeting with the fans, the consumers, the press, uh, retailers, partners, all in the industry, it's important to Konami and we're making it a priority to grow the business down here. Um, how do you think the industry is changing? I mean, we have events now in Latin America, they are releasing games beforehand, we have bundles for Latin America. Why do you think that has happened? And what are the factors? What, what has changed in the industry that we now can enjoy this? Well, I think the industry's grown and Konami's always been uh, a global publisher. Obviously, we're a Japanese-based publisher, but we have a lot of um, interests all over the world. And of course, we have Pro Evolution Soccer, which is a huge franchise in Latin America. Soccer, Neymar on the cover now for this year. Um, that's always been a huge product and franchise down in this territory for Konami. Now we're seeing growth in. Um, business with some of our bigger franchises and other bigger franchises like Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, um, new IPs like Never Dead, Castlevania was a shadow last year was uh, quite successful in the territories. So we're excited about that. We see the growth, we see the passion, we see the people down here wanting to see more attention and it all, and last it's about a global community now. In, in video games, and Konami is trying to keep that at the forefront of our strategy and what we're trying to do. Um, because nowadays, with online gameplay, uh, with you know, Microsoft and Xbox 360 and Sony and PlayStation 3 really expanding themselves all over the world, we want to be there with, with them and uh, where the consumers are. You mentioned sagas like Metal Gear, Silent Hill. Why do you think these franchises have become so so iconic? I, I, I was telling you before that Metal Gear here in our, in our country is especially a big deal. Why do you think that is coming? How, why are they so iconic? Yeah, I think because I grew up playing Konami games before I even worked at Konami. <laughs> and the reason I played them, and I think the reason a lot of people have played them and continue to play the great games like Metal Gear Solid, um, is because they're great games. You know, it, it doesn't matter where you are, what country you're from, if it's a great game, it's a great game and people are going to want to play it. With Metal Gear Solid, it's going on 25 year anniversary next year with the Kojima Productions led by Video Kojima. That whole team, for the past 20 years plus, they're dedicated to making great games. Practically every game they put out is very high quality, uh, with high quality marks. A lot of accolades, a lot of awards. And that just goes to show again that the commitment, dedication, um, and, and effort that Konami as a global publisher is making, led by teams like Kojima Productions, the Pez team, uh, based in Tokyo um, as well. And then all of our other partners in the development, on the development side and internal teams, they that's what they're trying to do, make great games. It's, it's a simple thing, it's not easy to do, uh, but it's a simple concept that I think everybody on our side is really striving towards. Can we expect something special for this anniversary? Is something coming? Yeah, you know, we're talking about some things right now. I think uh, we, we're not going to be able to uh, let some of our, our, our great franchises like Metal Gear Solid go without a birthday party type of thing. Uh, in celebration of the anniversary, it's an important milestone, and we we haven't announced anything, but stay tuned, and, and I think you'll you'll see some stuff uh, attached to, to celebrating. So we're gonna expect history. even more sort of thing, yeah. more big boss. Oh yeah. Uh, a personal question: Do you play games at home? What are your favorite your franchises? Do you have time to play games because yeah, maybe you're, you're a busy man? I mean, I, I I've played games all my life. I, going back to the Atari 2600, uh, it was the first console that I owned. Um, well, that I, I that my mom bought for me, and I had to pay. Um, I think I had to trade in some baseball cards to help with the purchase of it. But 
that Nintendo Entertainment System all the way through, you know, pre PS1, Genesis, Super Nintendo, uh, going into PS1. And I've just played games and I've continued to play games. It's been a part of like my life. And the fact that I'm working for a company like Konami, a company where I played a lot of their games back in the day, even when they had Ultra Games under the as a sub label, Metal Gear was one of the titles. I think it was under the Ultra um, Games sub label. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Castlevania One. Um, the fact that I work on these games now is, uh, it's, I can say, it's kind it's of surreal. Like, it's surreal, and it's uh, it's the dream come true. It's a couple man. Yeah, there's a lot of other, you know. You know things out there, but games has always been a big, big, big part of my life. And right now, I'm playing. Uh, I mean, I'm from America, so I just bought Madden. Uh, US I bought it too. I'm playing. I'm, I'm playing that right now just because football season yeah. started. I, I love Madden. Of course, that. Uh, I, you know, I maybe one of the few Argentinians who yeah. played it, but it's great. I and I get to play. I get to play great games uh, that I work on. And, saw an HD collection, we get the opportunity to play these games before they actually come out while they're in development. So I've been actually going back. I played those original games on PS2 and um, PSP for Peace Walker, but going back and, and reliving it again. It's a new experience. Um, play a lot of the competitive games out there too, uh, just to kind of see what other people are doing in the space. Um, going back and playing some older stuff and wrapping up uh, LA Noir, right the world. Yeah. I'm, 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 I like the open world stuff. It's uh, really kind of stuff that's pushing the boundaries of our industry in a certain way. And, yeah, you know, as, as much as I can, I try to play as much as I can. And does your perspective change when you are working in the industry, when you are doing games uh, what, while you play them? You see them in a different way, or you just enjoy them as, as they are? You you know, yeah. not need picking and choosing like, oh, this could be the, this way, this could be the other way. Yeah, you know, I think it's inevitable. And the way my personality is, I you know, because I work in the industry, now I'm looking at games with that type of mentality most of the time. Sometimes I'll just be able to sit down, like Madden. I think uh, that's that's a game that I just grew up playing every year with my friends. And when we play, it's just about, I'm going to beat you, but you're going to beat me. Yeah. And I'm going to smash you in the mouth doing it. Um, so I'm not looking at it from a work standpoint so much. But other games I do, I look at you know what they're doing, what kind of game mechanics they're doing, what's new, what's innovative, um, how's the game look, um, you know all those things. They they're, they're, they're a really important part of, of the job. And the, the, the cool thing is I get to do my hobby, one of my hobbies, for my job. And so I don't really look at it as work so much. Well, John, we thank you very much for this interview, for this whole event. We really appreciate you guys coming here. And that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Hey, John. Oh, all done. Have part. Yeah. Right now. Enjoy the next one, yeah. Cyrus. He's thank you. Yeah. You are going to blow your mind.